Okay. I'd ask the clerk to please publish the verdict. Thanks, Judge. Uh, State of Florida versus Ronnie O'Neill the third, case number 2018-CF-004019, verdict form, trial division one. Uh, with the jury find as follows, as the count one of the charge, the defendant is guilty of first degree murder as charged. The defendant did actually possess and discharge a firearm causing death. Uh, with the jury find as follows, as the count two of the charge, the defendant is guilty of first degree murder premeditated murder and felony murder. The defendant carried, displayed, used, threatened to use, or attempted to use a weapon. Uh, we the jury find as follows, the count three of the charge, the defendant is guilty of attempted first degree murder as charged. The defendant carried, displayed, used, threatened to use, or attempted to use a weapon. Uh, we the jury find as follows, the count four of the charge, the defendant is guilty of arson of a dwelling as charged. Uh, we the jury find as follows the count five of the charge, the defendant is guilty of aggravated child abuse as charged. Uh, we the jury find as follows the count six of the charge, the defendant is guilty of aggravated, I'm sorry, uh, aggravated child abuse as charged. We the jury find as follows the count seven of the charge, the defendant is guilty of, of resisting an officer without violence as charged. So say we all dated this 21st day of June 2021. All right, very good. Thank you, members of the jury. So um now that the, um, you have found the defendant guilty of first degree murder, that means we will be going into a penalty phase. However, I'm gonna give you guys the day off tomorrow, all right? There's some things we need to do um, as far as to get ready for that phase of the trial, which will begin Wednesday at 9 a.m. Um, I anticipate that we will be concluded by the end of this week, so you don't need to worry about that, but I'm gonna give you guys the day off tomorrow, all right? So you can go tend to your personal affairs, do what you need to do, and then we'll see you back here Wednesday at 9 a.m. Since you are still serving as a juror in this case, however, the rules still apply. You can't talk to anyone about this case. You can't do any research about this case. You can't watch, listen to, read any news accounts related to this case. And that will be the rule until I discharge you completely as a juror, all right? So with that, I think the pizza did arrive, so I don't know if you want to grab a slice on your way out the door, but there is pizza back there, and um, we will see you all on Wednesday morning at 9 a.m. All right? Thank you. All right. Okay, everyone, have a seat. Um, so, Mr. O'Neill, now that you have been found guilty of first-degree murder, we now go into penalty phase. And as you are aware, it gets no more serious for any defendant in any criminal courtroom in this country than what you are facing now. Um, I respect the fact that you chose to represent yourself, and I have to tell you, um, I think in another lifetime, you would have been an excellent lawyer. I really think that. You speak with great passion. I understood exactly the points you were making. I, I knew what you were attempting to get across in your opening statement, your cross-examination of the state witnesses, the direct examination of your witnesses, and your closing argument. Um, ultimately, your arguments were not persuasive to the jury. But nonetheless, I was able to follow exactly what you were trying to accomplish. However, as we move into penalty phase, I'm really going to strongly encourage you to consider allowing counsel to now step in and represent you. This is a much more specialized and rare area of the law that very few practitioners really practice in as far as truly understanding the aggravating factors the state has to establish, and now you would have a burden of proof with regards to the mitigators, whether they're statutory or non-statutory. You've got to come up with proof by greater weight of the evidence that the mitigators actually apply. And you have, would have to come up with not just applicable statutory mitigators, but any applicable non-statutory mitigators. And I'm quite confident that your standby counsel would have a much better grasp on what those potential non-statutory mitigators would be. So I am, uh, 
I want you just to think about it overnight. I don't want you to make a decision right now. I want you to give it some serious, serious consideration. All right? Yes, and we're we're going to reconvene at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, and um, we'll discuss it further, and you can tell me then. But I, I really, really want to strongly advise you to go ahead and let council represent you in the penalty phase because the consequences are so serious.